everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Um, if you're eventually watching this on YouTube, I encourage you to join our Patreon community where you also get to be a part of choosing the exclusive films and shows that I watch for you guys. I will continue apologizing for my voice in the meantime. I uh, recently got sick, still getting over it. Um, I know some of you guys know, so I won't go too deep into it, but my voice is a little out of it. Today, we're going to be watching episode 7 of Game of Thrones. Um, I really want to watch Game of Thrones very consecutively uh, because I tend to forget very easily about um, some of the stuff. Um, as of right now in episode 7, I still think Ned's son is coming about uh, remembering or his memory. Goodness gracious. Um, I think he's slowly starting to remember what happened to him and the things that he saw before he went into the coma. I still stand on that, um, unless it's something else, but I really think so. With the crow. I couldn't remember the name of the damn bird in the last episode. As of right now, Ned has also found um, that book that he was going through, finding out that, uh, what's jo Joffrey, I believe? Joffrey is not the s actual son of the king. So that is interesting. We'll see what this episode brings about. And now he knows that the Lannisters were definitely behind the murder of John Aaron. God, I hope I get those names right. But those are the things that I'm really excited about in this episode. I really want to see where that goes. As well as... Darian? Darren? Khaleesi. Sure. As well as Khaleesi. Um, I'm, always, I'm always excited to... Uh, know her story um, in every episode. Uh, I know she's trying to... There's something about her with the dragons, obviously, because she was... She had the egg in her hands and it didn't burn her, but it burned the other girl. So that was interesting. I wonder if we'll learn a little bit more about that. I also want to know when exactly winter is coming. That was said so many times in the first couple of episodes and it kind of wore off right now. So I'm wondering what exactly or when exactly that's gonna come about. So there's a lot of things that I'm kind of wanting to see and expect and excited about. So we'll see how that goes. I think so far you guys know what characters I'm into and what characters I'm not very fond of. This show really makes my frustration and anger and dislike towards people uh, become very obvious physically because they annoy me and irritate me and irk me and every cinnamon that you can know. Cinnamon. Anyway, so that's what we're expecting in this episode. I'm excited. I'm trying to think of anything else that I can think of, but those are the main things that I'm like really hoping for that we continue in this episode. Besides that, if you join our Patreon community, you gain access to all of my reactions, early access to my reactions, as well as Discord um, access where we have movie nights every month. And also, if you ever want to just come chat about the films that we're watching, I do stream on Twitch. All those links to all of that jazz will be down below. Anyway, let's dive into episode seven because I'm excited. Also, before we begin, can we just celebrate? We just reached a hundred thousand subs on YouTube. <gasps> the insert claps and. Goodness, I just want to thank my mom. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I, I'm, I'm kidding. You, you know what I'm saying. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been subbed so far. Who's been here? Who's, who's. I'm so nervous. I'm messing it up so bad. Um, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been subbed, um, even for a while. Um, for everyone who's been commenting and liking and, and been there for the premieres, um, Thank you to everyone so much, and then all of my Patreon members who have, uh, who have, who moved over from YouTube to Patreon. <laughs> um, 
goodness, it's been, I'm not gonna do a whole speech, blah, 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 whatever, but I do wanna say this. Um, ever since I've been on Twitch, which has been for about almost a, two years now, I would say, almost two years, I think, I've talked about how a hundred K on YouTube is like my, was my goal. I think, I don't know if last year, I don't know if last year, but it's on my vision board. So now I have to take it out and put a little heart on it. Um, it's been a really just like long time since I've like wanted, I think it's like the first milestone that I wanted with YouTube. Um, and it's been a long time. So I'm just really excited to cry and 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 i'm just really happy that you guys get to be here and experience this journey with me um i don't know if i'm making this into a speech i feel like i am but shout out to luis mr Havitz, for being my editor and getting me into this um reaction world i don't know if you guys know the story but i always talk about it on twitch um but I just wanted to say thank you to everyone and I just can't wait to keep going and learn so much and see all of the stuff that you guys love to watch repeatedly or just your favorite movies that you've watched so far. So now that we're here, let's do the episode. <laughs> let's go folks, do this. I just saw, I just saw the, um, basically the, the flashback <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I also, I didn't, I said this in the, in episode six, but I didn't expect Khaleesi's brother, uh, to die so soon. Um, I know he was a jackass, but I, I didn't, I didn't know that he was, uh, going to die so fast. Oh, I'm really excited. <laughs> We're at that point now. They also showed, uh, a glimpse again of Ned, uh, going through the, the book again. I'm just excited. I'm nervous. Poor Ned Stark. Brave man. Terrible judgment. Attacking him was stupid. <clears throat> you gonna say something clever? Go on, say something clever. Catelyn Stark took my brother. Why is he still alive? Tyrion? Ned Stark. One of our men interfered. Speared him through the leg before I could finish him. It wouldn't have been clean. You spend too much time worrying about what other people think of you. I could care less what anyone thinks of me. You know, that's what you want people to think of you. It's the truth. When you hear them whispering Kingslayer behind your back, doesn't it bother you? Of course it bothers me. A lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of a sheep. I suppose I should be grateful that your vanity got in the way of your recklessness. I'm giving you half of our forces, 30,000 men. I wonder how they made that look so real. If another house can seize one of our own and hold him captive with impunity, we are no longer a house to be feared. You're blessed with abilities that few men possess. You're blessed to belong to the most powerful family in the kingdoms. And you're still blessed with youth. And what have you done with these blessings? Huh? Served as a glorified bodyguard for two kings. One a madman, the other a drunk. We could establish a dynasty that will last a thousand years. Or we could collapse into nothing, as the Targaryens did. I need you to become the man you were always meant to be. I can't imagine, like, where this show is going. <laughs> Perhaps it's time to go home. The South doesn't seem to agree with you. I know the truth John Aaron died for. Do you, Lord Stark? Is that why you called me here to pose me riddles? Has he done this before? Jamie would have killed him. My brother's worth a thousand of your friend. Your brother? Or your lover? Targaryens wed brothers and sisters for 300 years to keep bloodlines pure. Jamie and I are more than brother and sister. We shared a womb. Came into this world together, we belong together. My son saw you with him. Hmm. In the rare event that Rob leaves his whores for long enough to stumble drunk into my bed, I finish him off in other ways. In the morning, he doesn't remember. You've always hated him. Every girl in the Seven Kingdoms dreamed of him, but he was mine by oath. And when I finally saw him on our wedding day in the Sept of Baylor, 
Lean and fierce and black bearded, it was the happiest moment of my life. And that night he crawled on top of me, stinking of wine, and did what he did, what little he could do, and whispered in my ear, Liana, your sister was a corpse and I was a living girl, and he loved her more than me. Go as far away as you can, with as many men as you can, because wherever you go, Robert's wrath will follow you. Jamie told me about the day King's Landing fell. He was sitting in the Iron Throne and you made him give it up. All you needed to do was climb the steps yourself. Such a sad mistake. I've made many mistakes in my life. What was she even trying to do? No, that wasn't one of them. Oh, but it was. You just tear his pride down like... When you play the Game of Thrones, you win. Or you die. There is no middle ground. Oh, go get your incest babies and just fucking go. <laughs> Annoying. I was hoping she wouldn't do anything to Ned. You're a very lucky girl, do you know that? I almost forgot about Where her. I come from, we don't show mercy to criminals. You're not living in the wilderness anymore. In civilized land, you refer to your betters by their proper titles. And what's that? Lord. She looks why? familiar, but I don't know why. Why? What do you mean, why? My father is Balon Greyjoy, Lord of the Iron Islands. What's that got to do with you? I will be Lord after my father. So you're not Lord now? No, you... Are you having a go at me? Is that it? Just don't understand how you Southerners do things. I'm not a Southerner. You're from south of the Wall. That makes you a Southerner to me. <laughs> Balon Greyjoy! The lady is our guest. Thought she was our prisoner. Are the two mutually exclusive in your experience? Chances are I won't be nearby the next time that happens. I'm used to worse than him. Hmm? I'm used to men could chew that boy up and pit their teeth with his bones. <laughs> Meant to get much further south than this. As far south as south goes. Before the long night comes. Why? What are you afraid of? There's things that sleep in the day and hunt at night. Owls and shadow cats. I'm not talking about owls and shadow cats. The things you speak of, they've been gone for thousands of years. They wasn't gone, old man. They were sleeping. And they ain't sleeping no more. Oh, look at that. We're starting to talk about it. Again. Riders. The horn. We have to blow the horn. Why is he alone? One blast for a ranger returning. Two for wildlings. Three There's no rider. <coughs> That's my uncle Benjamin's horse. <coughs> Where's my uncle? <coughs> Ned! It's Robert. We were hunting a bull. I should have spent more time with you. Show me how to be a man. I was never meant to be a father. He's dying? So who would... She hasn't even left. She's just there. Oh, she is. Go on. You don't want to see this. I wonder if he won't tell him because of... What just happened? So much <laughs> wine. Missed my thrust. Things like death. Don't think I can't smell it. I want the funeral feast to be the biggest the kingdoms ever saw. Revuelve el estómago. And I want everyone to taste the boar that got me. It turns my stomach. I leave as the lot of you. I need to talk to Ned. Robert, my sweet. Out, all of you. <laughs> In the name of Robert, of the House Baratheon. First of, you know how it goes. Fill in the damn titles. 
hereby command Eddard of House Stark, titles, titles, to serve as Lord Regent and Protector of the Realm upon my death, to rule in my stead until my son Joffrey comes of age. <laughs> Please say something until my give it over. You will rule now. You'll hate it worse than I did. You said that before. You'll do it well. Daenerys, you were right. Varys, little finger, my brother, worthless. No one to tell me no but you. King Robert Baratheon. Murdered by a pig. Give me some of the pain and let me die. His Grace has had a change of heart concerning Daenerys Targaryen. Whatever arrangements you made, unmake them at once. I'm afraid those birds have flown. The girl is likely dead already. Pardon me, I'll seek out the merchant captain, see if he has any letters for me. Well, I'll come with you. No, no, don't trouble yourself. Enjoy the market. Go get him! <laughs> He's lying! Kira, the Andal. The spider sends his greetings and his congratulations. A royal pardon. You can go home now. Lachi, Kalisis, eh? Now, I'll call him this season, Dundon, Janak. My son already has his name, but I'll try your summer wine. You are from Westeros. You have the honor of addressing Daenerys of the House Targaryen, Khaleesi of the Riding Men, and Princess of the Seven Kingdoms. Dornish Swill, not worthy of a princess. I have a dry red from the arbor. Nectar of the gods. Let me give you a cask. Ricardo, Paso he has Hogare. Something wrong? I have a thirst. Open it. The wine is for the Khaleesi. It's not for the likes of you. Open it. Oh, crap. Paul, it would be a crime to drink a wine this rich without at least giving it time to breathe. Do as he says. As the princess commands. Is he going to make him drink it? Sweet, what? isn't it? Can you smell the fruit, sir? Taste it, my lord. Tell me that that is not the finest wine that has ever touched your tongue. You first. I'm afraid I am not worthy of the vintage. Besides, it is a poor wine merchant who would drink up his own wares. You will drink. Damn, how discreet. To murder her. Pip to the stewards, Toad to the builders, Wren to the rangers, Samwell to the stewards, Makar to the rangers, Darian to the stewards, John to the stewards, Ranser to the builder, Ichil to the builders, Gordo to the stewards, Malugo to the rangers. May all the gods preserve you. Really hates him. John! Wait, don't you see what they're doing? I see Sir Alice's revenge, that's all. He wanted mm. it and he got it. Now listen to me. The old man is the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. You'll be with him day and night. Yes, you'll clean his clothes, but you'll also take his letters, attend him at meetings, squire for him in battle. Mm. Look at that. Everything. Be part of everything. And he asked for you himself. He wants to groom you for command. I just, I always wanted to be a ranger. I always wanted to be a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, oh, I'm serious. <laughs> so you'll stay and say your word with me. He named you protector of the realm. He did. She won't care. Give me an hour and I can put a hundred swords at your command. And what should I do with a hundred swords? Strike. Tonight, while the castle sleeps. Protector of the realm, or no, he who holds the king holds the kingdom. Every moment you delay gives Cersei another moment to prepare. 
By the time Robert dies, it will be too late for the both of us. Stannis is your older brother. This isn't about the bloody line of succession. That didn't matter when you rebelled against the Mad King. It shouldn't matter now. What's best for the people we rule? We all know what Stannis is. He inspires no love or loyalty. He's not a king. I am. I was waiting for him to say something. Tell me something. Do you still believe good soldiers make good kings? I will not dishonor Robert's last hours by shedding blood in his halls and dragging frightened children from their beds. So, when the king dies... The throne passes to his brother, Lord Stannis. So it would seem. Unless... There is no unless. He is the rightful heir. Nothing can change that. And he cannot take the throne without your help. You would be wise to deny it to him and to make sure Joffrey succeeds. Do you have a shred of honor? You are now Hand of the King and Protector of the Realm. All of the power is yours. You need only reach out and take it. It's kind of crazy because then you start to think about, like, what would you do if you were in that position? <laughs> Stark, King Joffrey and the Queen Regent request your presence in the throne room. King Joffrey? King Robert is gone. The gods give him rest. What the f... All is accomplished. The city watch is yours. Good. Is Lord Renly joining us? I fear Lord Renly has left the city. He rode through the old gate an hour before dawn with Sir Loras Tyrell and some 50 retainers. Last seen galloping south in some haste. <sighs> oh crap. I feel like that's like mostly what I can say in this episode. <laughs> we stand behind you, Lord Stark. All hail his grace, Joffrey of Houses Baratheon and Lannister. The first of his name. King of the Andals and the First Men. And protector of the realm. Oh man, if you were to do anything, I'd just be like, You're not king. <laughs> it's not you, sorry. I don't know. I command the council to make all necessary arrangements for my coronation. He's such a little wish to be crowned within the prick. Sir Barristan, I believe no man here could ever question your honor. King Robert's seal, unbroken. Lord Eddard Stark is herein named Protector of the Realm, to rule as regent until the heir come of age. May I see that letter, Sir Barristan? Is this meant to be your shield, Lord Stark? A piece of paper. That's the whole... What? The king's words. We have a new king now. Lord Eddard, when we last spoke, you offered me some counsel. Allow me to return the courtesy. Bend the knee, my lord. Bend the knee and swear loyalty to my son. What the actual? And we shall allow you to live out your days in the grey waste you call home. Your son has no claim to the throne. <laughs> Liar! You condemn yourself with your own mouth, Lord Stark. Sir Barristan sees this traitor. Take the queen and her children into custody. Escort them back to the royal apartments and keep them there, under guard. Men of the watch! Stupid mother- I want no bloodshed. <laughs> Tell your men to lay down their swords. No one needs to die. She's so annoying. She she, she- she- Oh my god. 
did warn you not to trust me. Mother of God! Fudge! Oh, <laughs> oh man. You gotta be you gotta be freaking kidding me. I need to watch episode eight. Okay, let's get that out of the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ew. The Lannisters fucking... Sorry. They piss me off. I don't think I've ever wanted to cuss as much as I want to cuss watching this show. Um. <laughs> Ugh, I'm just irked. Um. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but Cersei, Cer Cersei, whatever, I don't know, it's her name. I, I'm kind of confused as to why she thinks that she's able to, I mean, I don't know, maybe they just have a lot of, like the Lannisters just have a lot of that, I don't want to say fierceness or like false sense of power, I guess. Um, I just, I just feel like what Ned could do and talk about with... Joffrey, or whatever. Can deteriorate their power so immensely. So I'm, I'm so confused as to why she's like putting up this front like, seize him and you can't do anything. And then she like tears the paper up like it, d like it does anything because it's the law. It's like the legal side of it. That doesn't, just because she ripped it, it doesn't mean anything. So that's why I'm... I guess that's what irked me too, because it's like, those are the laws that they abide to. So it's like, why why do you think ripping up a paper is going to fucking do anything? I could also be like, very fresh, like, angry with them, because they're they're so irritating. Holy mother of- they're just so irritating. <laughs> um, Okay, I'm trying to catch up to like, the rest of the episode of what happened, but that was like, the main thing where I was just like, dude, what the- what the- Now I'm just waiting for Jame- Jamie? To just come about and see what happens then. Um, also, uh, what's his name? The last guy who just said, I told you not to trust me or whatever. I just feel like this is getting so messy. <laughs> so, especially starting, starting the show and trying to get a sense of character and, and background and and, and the connections to everybody and then just 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 like slowly everything just kind of dismantling itself and it's just like you don't know who to trust what decision to make why would they make that decision try to figure out what would happen if they made a certain decision what would you do if you were in that place there's just like so much going on um this is what the show is making me feel currently uh and it's so hard because i feel like i want to say so much and i want to dive into it so in depth but I feel like I can't because I need to just follow along more to everything just so I know exactly what's going on I wish I, I wish this was my second time watching it so I could actually I, I wish I could just have a sense of what I'm feeling you know I don't know I, I, I have to like stop and start again but um, I also wonder what Khaleesi is gonna do um, obviously they haven't gone word gotten word yet that Robert is dead. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna come about with how the guy that is normally next to her, I, f I, f I, f I forget his name, uh, because he's saying that they're always gonna chase her down and always, always gonna want to kill her and stuff. And then um, her husband, I forgot his name too. I'm just trying to get used to it all. But I just wonder what their decision making is gonna be about when it comes to, to, you know, them wanting to protect her and the baby. Uh, because they haven't gotten word of that yet. And then also if that Joffrey's gonna be king. Hopefully not, but if if he's if he's bound to be king, because I don't know. I feel like anything can happen with the show. So <laughs> anything's possible. I just hope I don't know. It's just like everyone's trying to take control of the seven kingdoms. Um anyway, I think I'm done talking for now. Um I really I really want to start the next episode, and I know I have to wait, because I have to watch what I need to watch. 
but I might just say if I get, I don't know. Or I might watch it tonight or tomorrow. I don't. <laughs> I just have to. I'm done talking. I've been talking for too long. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I could I could can possibly think of. If you guys have any questions, let me know.